The story in this one is that John Gold, me, I am a ex-Special Forces soldier and I've come to basically take out some more bad guys. <laughs> Casting Iron Vengeance Retaliation started to handle itself because we had returning characters from the first film, obviously Stu as John Gold and Mark Griffin as Frost, but then we needed a whole new team and there's a lot more characters in this, so it was a pleasure to get lots and lots of new faces in there and some really talented fighters coming through the door as well. Gold is actually presented with the opportunity to bring to justice the man who took down his old team. I'm putting a team together and I want you to lead it. There's a guy who I used to serve with who is a guy called T. Nobody knows Teague better than Gold, especially in the field, and nobody has a more compelling reason to bring him in. My uh, character is Teague. I play a, a rogue soldier, and Gold, played by Stu Bennett, comes after me, trying to bring me back to justice. As I live and breathe, John Gold. Teague, you're coming with me. For the longest time, Gold has had it in for Teague, and they finally got an opportunity to bring him in. We had a bit of a falling out on one of our Black Ops missions. He then disappeared, and I've got to go track him down and bring him to justice. Gold is put together with a couple of other Black Ops team members. So what's the play, boss? Gold Hill will lead, with you two reprobates providing ground support and flying slash driving services. Shit work. Standard. That's what we get paid for. And they get to go in and get him. It all goes wrong. Lads! Of course, Sean Teague, being played by Vinnie Jones, was the standout casting choice, I think. Who do you put up against Stu Bennett in an action role? And it's got to be somebody with the charisma to pull that off and the physical presence to pull that off. And Vinnie Jones was just perfect in there. He slotted right in. Look, I don't give a shit about whoever's out there. But you either give me a gun or you get me the fuck out of here. Yeah, with Vinnie Jones playing Teague, it was interesting because we were looking for someone who could really hold their own against Stu as the lead villain. Vinny's obviously a veteran of so many action movies. <laughs> Teague and Gold have a lot of fight scenes in the movie. They have three quite big fights, in fact. Boys did like giving the orders, didn't you, John? <laughs> The second fight in the middle of a movie, you find out quite a bit about their backstory and their previous relationship. Years of law service, and I'll get thrown on the scrap heap. Well, that's no excuse for betraying your own team. And it worked out really well. Seeing them on screen together was fantastic. Kill them both. You got it. Vinny's a pro, man. He comes in, he does his thing, and you want to make sure when you're working with somebody that's been in the industry for so long that has done a a huge amount of work. You want to make sure you're coming on your A game. Let's go. This is my 100th movie that I'm on now. This is actually his 100th movie he's ever done, which is quite the achievement in itself. This is number five for me. So in terms of experience level, there's a massive amount of difference. And I've been very diligent in chasing him up on getting information and advice and stuff like that. You're getting on that plane and you're going to prison. I've had enough of this, you and me, bollocks. If you have to have his back, you have his back at all times. I've got this. And it was a pleasure working with him, and I can't wait to work with him again. This is over. He's been a great benefit for me, personally, in terms of how can I improve my game and where do I need to go, and, you know, just learning from him, being around set, and, and seeing how to tweak performance and stuff like that. That side of Vinny is incredible. Fucking dead man, Gold. Do you hear me? Fucking dead man. You might want to hold on tight. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs>